Hello, sports fans. Welcome to RVing with Luck. I'm Ralph Luck. And today we're going to go on a little adventure. When I say we, I mean you, me, and Ninja. I don't know. Today, I just kind of feel... I just kind of felt that there's several washes around here. Let's just go down and hike them. Ninja's doing a good job. There were some sticker bushes across that she hopped over and you can see those she went under. Now we're kind of matching up with the road that I've been on before, but uh, definitely you can see on the side sometimes where animals have laid down. Like maybe there's coyote that laid down there for a rest or who knows. And earlier there were a lot of individual tracks coming down the wash from the RV. But you can see not that far away. I just kind of went off to the side and down this wash, but let's see where it takes us, Ninja. Let's see where it takes us. More trash. Ah, I want to vomit and hurt somebody. I didn't really plan on video th this walk, but you know, I came across this little guy. It's like where a seed pod opens up. And it was cool because it was always like a demon's horns. And growing up in Tucson, Southern Arizona, used to find these all the time. And we'd always, ah, as kids play with them. Just found one, kind of reminded me of my childhood. Can definitely see some tracks. It's not Ninja, she's behind me. But it's a little hard to make out what they are. They've obviously been here probably a few days of wind blowing, so. But as I look up ahead, definitely see there's lots of tracks. All right, now we're getting into a little serious part here. You can see it's cut off, cut through a bit of the mountain there. Little mountain, the floor of the desert. <laughs> and right over there, is where uh, that garbage was that I broke apart and, oh geez, look at that. I tripped and I scared Ninja. But that's where the trash was, you can see it. And we're gonna go a little further down the wash of adventure. Now, if I'm wrong, don't send hate mail, but I believe this is a juniper tree and these little Berries get about as big as a small marble. The kids today even know what marbles are. And we had them planted in our neighborhood house I first lived in for like the first eight years of my life. I don't know, probably less than that, six years. And we'd use those berries and me and the neighbor kids would throw them at each other and have little berry fights. And they hurt, they're like a rock. And of course, Ninja having to climb up rocks off to the side of the wash. That's looking west where the sun's setting. We got about 30, 40 more minutes till the sun sets. And then there's another 30 minutes of light after that easy. So we're in no hurry. Unless I twist my ankle or break my leg. And she's coming back down to the wash. And away we go. Oh boy. May have hit the end of the road. Lots of rocks here. And trash. Pigs. Anyway. I'm sure Ninja could find a way down. But it's a ways down even after you climb up the rocks. A couple of four foot jump. And then continuing on in the valley. But maybe that's for another day. And the sun's behind those mountains. And we're about 150, 200 yards from the RV. Well, 
we made it back. And Ninja, like always, sprinted the last 100 feet to beat me. Now it's recovery time. <laughs> so thank you for joining us on this little uh, wash adventure and exploring some new area today. It was like 78 degrees Fahrenheit, which is that much in Celsius. But uh, if you enjoyed this, please smash that thumbs up button. It's free. And what's also free is subscribing. So you get alerts anytime I post a new video. Ninja and I would greatly appreciate it. From Ninja and I, we bid you adieu. Be positive, be nice, be active.